Good morning. Let's take a look at how to do a two sample proportion test in StatCrunch. So this is the first problem in this section to actually go to StatCrunch for help with. It says, since an instant replay system for tennis was introduced at a major tournament, men challenged 1,435 referee calls with the result that 412 were overturned. Women challenged 745 referee calls and 220 of those calls were overturned. Use a 0 0.01 significance level to test the claim Here's our claim that men and women have equal success in challenging calls. Okay, if the claim is that they have equal success, then this particular claim is a restatement of the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is always going to use the equals. In every case, that can't be the null because it doesn't have an equals. This can't be the null. This can't be the null. There are only three possibilities here. One of which will have a not equal, one of which will have a less than, and one will have a greater than for the alternative hypothesis. Those are your only three possibilities. Anything else is nonsense. So in this case, since the claim is that the, they are equal, there's nothing suggesting a greater than or a less than. So here's our only option here. Now to get the test statistic, come over to stat. This is a proportion. This time we'll be using two samples in all of the problems in this section. This has with the summary, so the men challenged 1,435 referee calls with 412 overturned. So 412 is the number of successes, 1,435 is the number of calls. In the second sample, the women challenged 745 calls with 228 overturned. So for the women, we've got 228 out of 745. All we have to do is set up the hypothesis test. Now, notice that my MATLAB is using an equals and a not equal to. The null hypothesis is always going to have an equals. This has the equals. There is no difference really between P1 equals P2, and if we subtracted P2 from both sides, we'd get P1 minus P2 equals zero. So this is the same thing as this. Just use the not equals. For the not equals, just match up the signs. That's all you have to do. Hit compute. Our Z statistic right here is negative, let's see, two decimal places, negative 0.92. Our p-value to three decimal places is gonna be 0.357. Now to interpret one of these, because the p-value is 0.357, and we are comparing that to the point 0, 0.01, and since 0.357 is obviously much larger than 0 0.01, our conclusion is going to be that the p-value is greater than the significance level of 0 0.01. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis and make sure that this matches the claim, which recall could be either the null or the alternative. Are we going to reject the claim that men and women have equal access? This is the null hypothesis. We do not have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. So there is not sufficient evidence 
to warrant rejection of the claim that men and women have, have equal success in challenging calls. So to do the confidence interval, we do not need to start over in StatCrunch at all, where we've already put all of the information in, but we did the hypothesis test. To go back to the confidence interval, just go back to options here, hit edit, come back. Here's our information still in from the original problem. Change this to confidence interval. Make sure that our confidence level matches, and this is gonna be 0.99. And then just come back here to compute, and it's gonna give us the upper and lower limits for the confidence interval. So the lower limit, negative 0 0.072. The upper limit to three decimal places, is 0 0.034. The way to interpret the confidence interval is that if this contains zero, and this will contain zero if the lower limit is negative and the upper limit is positive. So if you have a negative lower limit and an upper and a positive upper limit, it contains zero. And so because the confidence interval limits include zero, there does not appear to be a significant difference between the proportions. If the difference of the proportions, P1 minus P2, falls somewhere between a negative number and a positive number, then that means it could be zero. Therefore, there does not appear to be a significant difference between the proportions. So there is not sufficient evidence to re warrant rejection of the claim that men and women have equal success in challenging calls. Same conclusion that we got earlier. However, you want to use a, a confidence interval when you're actually looking to compare the two so that you wanna be able to figure out whether it's greater than or less than. Use the hypothesis test when you simply want to determine whether or not to support the null hypothesis or to reject it. Use the confidence interval when you want to actually compare the two and see whether the difference falls more on the positive side or the negative side. So based on the results, does it appear that men and women may have equal success in challenging calls? Yes, it does. Uh, the confidence interval suggests there is no significant difference between the success in men and women challenging calls. Thanks.